Hey guys, welcome back to UK Highland Photography. I'm Strober and today we're going to be talking about how you can use Google Drive and turn it into a little website where you can store your online photography portfolio. Now we all know that you know you can store your photos on websites such as 500 Pix, Flickr, etc. But storing your photographs on these kind of sites comes with a catch. That meaning that you may have to sign in or your guests may have to, you know, register an account or something like that. But the advantage of using Google Drive is to, I, I mean, to be honest with you guys, I wished I knew this Google Drive little trick many, many years ago. Because many, many years ago, I was a very poor photographer like many photographers are. I mean, it's like that joke. What's the difference between a photographer and a 12 inch pizza? A 12 inch pizza can feed a family of four. So as you can see, a lot, of, I would say like 90% of photographers are basically brassed for money. And the last thing they want to do is to be paying for a website. So this is where this handy Google Drive trick does come into account. Basically what you get is 15 gigabytes of memory and you get an advert free platform practically where you can just send people to go to have a look at your photography portfolio. So right guys, let's begin and have a look at this pretty cool, awesome little Google Drive trick. Right guys, so this is what your final photo gallery would look like. For example, if I click on 42s, we will see that we get all our photos. Now, if I come out of that and click on the new album, let's say Saturday 31st, we click on that. And as you can see, this site serves its purpose really, really well. It allows people to, you know, have a look at your photography portfolio in peace without any adverts, without being harassed to sign in or create an account, etc. And best of all, this is totally free because again, it uses your Google Drive. Now, all I would have to do is like, for example, let's say I was applying for a nightclub photography job, okay? So what I could do is I could just simply go up here and copy this URL, cut it and paste it into an email and that would link to any potential client who would be interested in hiring me for their venue. So, right, how do you make one of these... Uh, websites then as you can see that needs rotating but how do you make one of these websites then well basically guys you need two things one you need to create a google drive account or a gmail account so what you want to do is you want to head over to gmail and basically create a gmail google account and once you've done that you will be able to sign in. Once you've signed into Google, you will notice that up in the top right hand corner, you will now have these icons, okay? So what you wanna do is click on Drive. You see Drive over here? Once you've clicked on Drive, you will go to your Google Drive where you can store all your data. Now the second thing you need to do is you need to head over here to drivegoal.com. Once you've headed over here, basically follow these instructions. It is so, so easy to follow these instructions. So you create your gallery, follow the instructions. Once you've done that, you will find that this will be now connected to your Google Drive. And if you've not worked out already, these folders or these albums you see here is the albums being displayed on the website. Example, freshes. So if you click on the freshes, it loads up the photos. Now, if we head over here, we can see that we have freshes folder. If we click on it, we have exactly the same photos. So these are basically for albums that's been uploaded and made public on the internet. So I'll give you an example. So I want to upload a folder and it's called Armed Response, okay? 
So as we can see now, it is uploading the photographs into Google Drive. You can see it here. Now this is might take a while depending on the speed of your internet. So I'm just going to speed this video up. Right guys, so once your file is uploaded, you will be able to see the contents of them photos in that folder. And as you can see, we've got armed response here. And that's what I wanted. So if we come back again, we will see if we go over here to our albums, you'll see that our folder is not yet visible. And this is because our folder is still private. Again, look, armed response. Here, there's no armed response, even if we refresh it. So, what we want to do is we want to make this folder public. And you do that by right-clicking, going to Share. Okay. Click up here, Get Shareable Link. Actually, is it this one down here? Advanced. Okay, yeah, go to Advanced change there we go guys on public public on the web so once we've made that for the public we will see now that it will appear in our website on our online photo gallery and there we can see it armed response so if we click it now there we go we have now got them photos uploaded now guys, you know and I know this makes sense. If you don't want to pay money for an expensive website with a flattering template and you just want somewhere to, you know, upload your photos for free and have a large amount of memory, such as 15 gigabytes, then you really need to use this Google Drive trick, which has been created with this website, drivegirl.com. So guys, thank you for watching the video. And I hope you like this. Oh, guys, before I go, what you could do as well is you could actually head over to a Domnium site. So let's say 123 Rage and get the Domnium. So you could actually register a Domnium like something like this.com. Once you raised it and paid it, right, you could actually, every time you pasted that, into the web browser, you could program that to go to your website. So instead, people would see the name of your website as opposed to that original URL. So that's something to think about. But overall, I am really impressed with this, you know, online free photo gallery thing because it's really awesome.